Hello and welcome to Ham's Pokemon and today I have a couple of Shining Legends boxes, a Mewtwo pin collection box and a Pikachu pin collection box. Picked these up from Walmart, don't really go to Walmart too often these days but um, managed to find these for $12 a piece. Um, they were actually like cellophane together as part of like a clearance deal. Uh, a little cheaper. I believe these were used to be like $15.99 bucks, so it's like about saving of about $8. Definitely worth picking up because Shining Legends is an amazing set. And if you can be lucky enough to get a Shining Pokemon, it makes it all worthwhile. So really excited to get these open up. I think I'm going to go with the Pikachu one first. Um, probably because I prefer, I prefer Mewtwo. But um, yeah, just, I don't know. I, I've got a lot of the pins. I do have a lot of... I feel like I opened a lot of these tins, these tins, these boxes when they came out. I don't know about the Pikachu one. I think that is, there we go. Uh, I don't know about the Pikachu one, but I know I opened at least two or three of the Mewtwo ones. Really cool looking promotional card. Sun and Moon one, oh, Sun and Moon 76, not some. So, very cool looking card. Pop that up the back. Here's the pin. Did literally just give one of those pins, that exact pin actually, to my niece last week who really wanted some Pokemon cards. And I was like, yeah, 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 I saw you out a tin of some cards and uh, went ahead and gave her uh, one of those. So gosh, I know I just gave one of those away. Three packs and they're all actually Mewtwo artwork on them. So I'm hoping that bodes well for this opening. I said in this video that I would actually do a little shout out to the students at Johnson Steam Academy, which is where I work. Um, give them a little shout out. There's a couple of kids on, that I don't want to name them on here, but they um, comment on the videos and stuff. So big hello to all those guys that watch the videos. Um, do work, do work at an elementary school here in Iowa. So the first pack there is a Raikou Holo, because of course every pack has a holographic minimum in it. So a Raikou Holo, probably one of my favourite Holos actually from this set. I do really like the Hooper as well that you can get in this set. And I do believe that the Hooper is actually quite, quite playable. What in the world? So cool card. There's another code for you. I hope you do, I do believe... Someone can correct me, but I do believe Shining Legends is out of rotation. Um, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. So, uh, great set though, obviously all the Shining Pokemon that are available in this. The only card I actually need from this set is, hey, very cool, a Raichu GX. Very happy to see that, get a GX out of the set. So Raichu there with in the Pikachu box, how convenient. Um, the only card I actually need to complete this set minus, I, I mean, I'm not going for a master set, but the only card I need is a Rainbow Rem Mewtwo, and unfortunately is the most expensive card in the set. Um, I did only purchase one other card from this set, and that was Mewtube. Never actually managed to pull that, unfortunately, but um, all the other cards are pulled pulled from, from packs. Oh, actually, except for a Zoroark, I got given a Zoroark Rainbow Rare from um, some, some friend on here that I did a little bit of a trade with. Um, reverse is a Carnivine and a Latios Holographic. So Latios is kind of a cool one. So decent first box. Um, one hit from three, especially with it being a GX, is very, very solid. Go ahead and open the second box now, which is the Mewtwo pin collection. I do have, like I said, I, I, I think I opened at least, at least three of these. This might be the fourth, the fourth one that I've opened on my channel over time. I haven't bought Shining Legends itself for a really long time. Um, obviously with Hidden Fates being out recently, um, I haven't obviously opened them on this channel, on the channel for very for a long time, but they are, it is a great set. And there was, um, the actual Shining cards in here are really, really cool. Would love to pull another Shining. Really, really always like the, the Volcanian shiny in this set. I don't know why, I just thought the artwork was really cool, but I think it's actually like the least valuable out of the shining cards. And I think the most valuable is, someone can correct me, but I it was Mew for the longest time. Um, but I do have all of those. I bought the, I bought the um, 
premium collection box too, so I have all of those cards. Reverse is a Volcarona and the rare is a Marshadow. Actually, Marshadow used to be quite a playable. Was one of the cards that I know that saw a, a little bit of play at least from this set. Marshadow, I think, and I think the Hooper actually saw some play. I don't know if any of the other cards ever, ever saw any actual play at all. But who knows? I'm getting really excited actually for the new set that's coming out. Um, its official release is next Friday. I do have a booster box and an Elite Trainer box pre-order. So hoping to see those sometime next week. And obviously the sooner the better, but not holding my breath for them to turn up super early. Awesome Reverse Energy and a Reshi Ram holographic. Always happy to see a Reverse Energy to collect um, Reverse Energy cards. So on to the sixth and final pack of this opening. So, so far, just the Raichu GX of real note. Um, just quickly show you the Mewtwo pin, which I completely and utterly forgot about. There it is. Very cool little pin. Again, I, I feel like I've got quite a few of those. I think, I think four is what my brain's telling me. That's a lot. So, see if there's anything left in here. Some, I always think it's really weird that Venusaur is in this collection and isn't a rare. I'm just so used to Venusaur being a rare. It's so obscure to me. So the first, the last reverse is a damage mover, which actually is the second reverse damage mover that's been in this opening. And another Marshadow. So two Marshadows and two damage movers. Just one Raichu GX to really ride home about. But it's a cool card. It's better than nothing, that's for sure. Because obviously with the... With there being a hollow in every in every pack, it sort of lowers your chance of getting like a hit because because you're already getting the hollow, so you're really just looking for those GXs and shinies. So happy to get another right two GX. I think that's the third one of those I've pulled, so pretty cool. Um, and with it being in the Pikachu box, that's even better. So thanks a lot anyway, guys, for popping on by. Just a little quick opening here, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>